Many parents going back to work, and that can have a big impact on your kids, especially the little ones. As our DNFL Zone reports, there are things that you can do to help them work through it. Change is difficult for all of us as human beings, and it can be especially challenging for kids. And there has certainly been a lot of change lately. We've definitely had our fair share of um, good days, and we've had our fair share of very trying days. But overall, I think we've gotten into a routine. And that can appear in a range of behaviors. We can see everything from uh, kids who maybe are more clingy, scared to leave mom and dad's side, um, you know, just more emotional, breaking down, crying more, all the way to kids who are acting out more. And with my youngest, Grayson, immediately, I normally work four days a week, but um, right away I started being home every day and he was so clingy to me, could not leave my side. Now she's going to actually go back to daycare on Monday. Um, they're letting us, they're reopening. Um, so now we're just going to be juggling, getting her readjusted. Um, she's been very clingy. And he looked at me and said, Mommy, are you going back to work? And I said, nope, I'm still staying home today. And he said, okay, good, I want you home. So I am worried about how he's going to be when I do go back to work. So we'll see how Monday goes, but I think it's going to be another adjustment, me actually dropping her off and leaving her for the day. Dr. Nicole Birkins, a holistic child psychologist, says being honest, even with little ones, is key. You want to clearly let your child know that you're leaving, regardless of the distress that they have about that. Let them know when you're going to be back and then leave. And that's really important to be honest and open with them about that so that they can trust you with that and also so that they learn to tackle this fear. But their world certainly won't look like it did before with masks and social distancing guidelines in place. It's important to communicate with them up front as much as possible to talk about before you head to the store for the first time uh, or the park or wherever. Some of the things that they're going to see, we're going to see some people wearing masks. They're you know trying to keep themselves and other people healthy and to talk about it in as matter of fact um, a way as possible. And remembering to give them and yourself a little grace as you work through it all together. I just know I have to be extra gracious with them. And um, we are, we're just taking it day by day and seeing what the day holds and trying to make the best of it. Children really are amazingly resilient. Um, even though they may not act like it sometimes in the moment, overall, kids really are resilient. They bounce back from things. Um, and so really, while there may be some bumps in the road for some kids navigating the changes with all of this and the uncertainty even as we move forward, as long as we continue to manage our own emotions and reactions to things in a healthy way, they will learn from that and model that. And in the big picture of things, they will move on through life and they will be okay. All right, if you'd like parents to talk to psychologist Dr. Birkins about your situation, she has an office located in Caledonia. You can visit her website at horizonsdrc.com or drberkins.com. You can also make an appointment by calling her office at 616-696-0306.